Hello, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Buffalo Brotherhood. I'm Ryan, and uh, I'm having a little problem with my OBS. My hotkeys weren't working, as you saw the beginning of my desktop. Uh, but uh, this is Star Citizen. I wanted to try to make a video for it today. My microphone looks like it's running really hot, but uh, hopefully you can hear me. Um, I've never been told I was too loud, no always that I'm just too soft. So if you're not familiar with Star Citizen, it's the Chris Roberts uh, Space Industries. This is the name of the company, essentially. They, it is a it is an alpha game that's been along been around forever. Um, it was kickstarted probably three years ago, maybe even four years ago at this point. I remember we were uh, making the podcast when when we were just starting the podcast when it was starting. But uh, uh, the game is getting ready for what is what is considered its its next big step, which is uh, the, I think it's a zero point three. They're, they're calling it three, um, uh, Alpha 3, I think, or, or Beta 3. I'm not real sure. But it's um, right now we're at 2.6, and 3.0 is going to be like they're going to open up a whole bunch more of the world, including like landing on planets and things like that. So um, I bought the game. I bought into the game. Um, I'm going to tell you right now if there's any sort of criticism or anything for the game, maybe it's the, the cost and the price and that sort of thing. Um Right now, there's not a whole lot to do, um, but we're going to take a look at it. And I think most of it is like make your own game sort of thing. Uh, you have three versions of the game available to you right now. You have the mini persistent universe or the universe, and that's what we're going to jump into. But you also have Star Marine, which is like a, well, it's an FPS sort of, it's your it's your main avatar fighting against other avatars. Then you have Arena Commander, which is your chance to fly and practice flying in races and uh, you can do multiplayer, space dog battle, space battles, and that sort of thing, or you can just do uh, you versus the computer and stuff like that. And, I, and I've been trying to do that because you're going to see I'm not real good at the game. Uh, when you go into the Persistent Universe, you can do like your hangar, which is just your space within the Persistent Universe. Then you have the Crusader, and then uh, Area 18. Area 18 is what they what they're predicting or sort of showing is like a. Uh, what a world or a colony might look like. Um, you walk around in your normal clothes. Uh, you can't. You don't have access to your ship there, but they have stores and things like that there. Crusader is more of the. Um, it, it's it's where you can access your ship and sort of you see sort of what the space uh, living would be like. So we're going to jump in here, and you're going to see how long it takes to load and that sort of thing because I think that's important uh, when you're dealing with a, with a game like this. It does take a little bit. Um, but, but it's okay. It's worth it, I think. Um, the game looks absolutely gorgeous. I hope it records as gorgeous as it looks. Um, and, and the ships look like they have... Um, the, the ships look realistic. Um, that you, know, you see how they're, the, they maneuver within space. and That's something else, too, that just... Like if, you, if, you're, if you're jumping into a simulator... Um, like a spaceship. Uh, I've never played Elite Dangerous, um, which is the game that immediately comes to my mind. Obviously, if, if you follow the channel, you see that I've played No Man's Sky before. Uh, no Man's Sky ship is like an arcade version of a ship. Uh, this has got a little bit of an arcadiness to it, but like they, they've modeled into it sort of those mechanics of in space, there's no friction. So like if I'm, you know, strafing on or whatever, if I don't add anything to my engines, I'm going to continue to strafe that direction until I, you know, thrust in a different direction or something else. It is interesting, though, um, where, like, you have the expanse. Uh, they don't really worry about aerodynamics or anything like that in those particular ships. Some of these look pretty sleek, but, I mean, if we're landing on planets and things, I guess that would be part of it. Um, I only have a small ship. I have an Aurora MR. Um, it's what the package that I bought to start off with. But they have some very large ships coming out, and they have some pretty large ships already out, um, where you and your friends can all sort of pilot the same thing and um, work together, get people in like mobile turrets or top turrets and belly turrets and uh, stuff, stuff like that. So we're gonna we're gonna crawl out of bed here with our spacesuit on, because that's how I roll, yo. <laughs> that's how I roll. And there's a hundred different keys for things here. Uh, I don't know what they all are. Right there's your password, though, in case you want to memorize it. No, I don't know what that's there. It's just flavor text. There's my bad. I, I, I think it's strange that, like, in space or in the future, like, that's what we imagine beds are going to be like. Hmm. 
Okay, if you say so. There's my luggage. My little table. All this stuff is like foldable. Very, feels a lot like um, uh, Fifth Element. So this is this is the, the deck that I've spawned on. Uh, I wish I had some sort of number. Like, to know that this one's mine, you know? But you just spawn in and spawn out. We're going to follow the exit over here. And we're going to go down to deck one. Jumping around deck two. And then that's the uh, that's the, the spaceport right there. That's where we're headed. Um, we're going to go down there and, and ask, ask that my ship be delivered to me. Um, so F is the use key. There's my uh, Robert Space Industry Aurora MR. I have, I have some insurance. Okay, so and, and it, it'll take a while. To, so if you have a bigger ship, you're going to either be a launch pad 9 or 10. You can see that up here. Um, and then here's... I'll show you one of the stores, I guess. Here's a store, like a clothing store. All the clothes look all pretty samey to me, but I guess if you're... I mean, let's see. If you want that t-shirt, here we can click on a few of these to click. And then... So look at my... Look at that t-shirt. That look good, right? All us Marines, we look the same. Um, what's it? 300... 300 AEUs? C's? A, 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 actual... I don't know. I don't know. There's like two types of currency. There's the e, 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 ECU, which is like the real, like the in-game currency. This is not where I'm going to be. I'm going to go this way because you see the waypoint there on the screen shows me where my Aurora has been stationed. Oh, what's out here? Oh, it's a view deck. That's another. You can go into the store again that way. Hmm. What's this over here? See, like, there's just all kinds of things. The, the universe looks... Like it's livable, like the, like the, like. I kind of imagine that's what space might look like. I don't think we'll have these giant windows in space, though. Man, not unless we develop, you know, what is it in Star Trek? Transparent alum, al aluminum. Uh, there's the dumpster depot. Oh no! Did I clip through the wall? I clip through the wall. Okay, alpha is alpha. Um, I'm currently going through space. Uh, my reticle looks like I have a gun, but I don't have a gun. <laughs> All right, see, so seeing that there are still lots of bugs in the game. Um, I'm looking at my own neck there. Okay. Am I still clipping through the walls or am I? Where's my ship? I don't know if I should just unload, you know, like redo it or what, but let's try getting up on this platform. Um, it's kind of surprising to me that they're, because, um, not surprising that I clipped through the wall, um, but it's kind of surprising to me that. Uh, it happens as often as it does. Like, uh, I should, I could show you the airlocks, um, because they're kind of cool. So, I'm gonna get up here on the deck and we're gonna fall, oof, because we got into the gravity the wrong way, I guess. But this is one of the landing pads. So my roar is over there, a hundred some odd yards or whatever. Um meters I said yards so these were still on the B strut so we're not that far away we just need to go the other way but I'm gonna run up here real quick and we're gonna we're gonna go back inside real quick so I want you to see what I'm talking about with the, the glitchiness so this is the actual airlocks I didn't realize that you actually had to just you just had to hit this button uh, and uh, because the first three or four days I played uh, I just glitched through them every time. I just, you know, smashed my head into it until 
eventually let me through and I thought that was the way you got out like I didn't know that there was an, a button I didn't realize there was a button until I watched somebody else do it so um, like there are some glitches there there there's there's some work that still needs to be done um, so if you're not if you don't want to be patient with that then I would avoid the game for a little bit longer uh, but there's my ship my beautiful Aurora I see lots of people talking but I don't see anybody here but um, this is my Aurora. Uh, this is the the capsule that I live in when I'm on it. Down here's my hard point. So there's one of my guns. Um, I, I, I will sit up in there. Oh, there's a guy. Hello. Here, we'll do slash slash salute. I'm saluting to Lonnie. There we go. And then uh, up there are some missiles that I have, some ordnance, some missiles. And then now back here's my 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 drive. You know how I go how I drive go faster than light here. Uh, oh, and there goes another ship. It's nice. Um, but okay, so l let's go in. Let's go into the Aurora here. We're going to open her up. Okay. So I have a bed here that I could sleep here. But every time I get into it, it... it I don't want him to pilot my ship. Every time I get into it, like, it doesn't work. Like, it continually... It, like, I, I can't figure out how to get out. But there we go. We're gonna let we're gonna let you pile up. Uh, I have a joystick here um, that I use to play. Um, once all my systems checks are completed, I'm gonna take off. And there's the outside view. So we'll, we're gonna uh, see how the. The, the the jets uh, on the back side here are, are you see sort of exhausting but you know it's, it's kind of cool I think um, see how they, the, they drop down strafe Okay, I get inside. I, I wasn't sure if Lonnie hung out with me or if he if he got off or he's still in there or whatnot. But here we go. We're 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 gonna, we're gonna fly out here a little distance away. Um. Cap selected. Raise our landing gear so we go a little faster. Actually, let's let's do that out here. Let's see what that looks like. Let's lower our landing gear. And you're deployed, and that's the end key. And you're lifted. There we go, and we're in space, so we're going to turn around. Look at the space station. So you get an idea what the space station looks like. And there's all kinds of, there's struts here. I'm going to push back here. I don't want to run into the space station. So those are the different struts. Uh, so I think there's four on it currently right now. And uh, those four struts has what five or six? Let's see, two, four, six, eight, nine, ten, maybe eleven, maybe ten, and a big landing pad on each one of them. So there's quite a few ships that can come in and off here. Um, there's a ship. There's a Hornet. We can fly over here and look at some of the other ships, I guess. I don't want to wreck anybody's ship. That's not good. So let's, uh, let's turn around. And we'll look down. See, there goes a ship. Oh, there's a big ship there. So. So that is a... Uh, 
That is a multi crew ship. A ship that has lots of people on it. Um, or can hold lots of people. I mean, as far as I know, there's only one guy in it right now. But I kind of want to get out of here because um, people just sort of fly into one another. And it uh, doesn't really work that well. So uh, I, I'm going to get some distance here away from, away from this station. And then I'm going to hit F1. I'm going to bring up my... Like, this is like my my cell phone, essentially. So these things here are all going to continue to populate and change as things go on and things get added and, you know, contacts and friends and journal and cargo and notifications and, what is it, finance and skyline and all this other stuff is sort of... This is your quest manager, though? But I can click one of these here, and that's going to uh, give me something to do. So we'll just... We'll, we'll just click uh, uh we'll try to uh repair an array so uh it's just a job jump in you do it you get paid for it um so we're gonna we're gonna turn okay. okay so i need to go this way around the planet maybe i do have to go around the planet so let's go, we're going to hit B, and that's going to open up all these different, can I go through the planet? I don't think I can go through the planet, I've never tried. No, see it would be green. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go this way, I'm going to hold F to spool my drive, and we're going to take off on quantum, we're going to use our quantum drive, and it uses a different type of fuel as our, than our like, regular propulsion. We're just going to count down, and here we go. And then we're going to turn towards the quest marker. We're going to hit B again to open that up. And then we're going to hit F again to accept. And then we're going to go towards the quest icon. And we've used 3% of our current quantum fuel. Um, but we've arrived at the uplink that needs fixing. And there's a Gladius here who wants to destroy me. So, I'm going to tell you right now. I've never beaten a pirate ship. Push M to match your speed. Now, I just have the stock equipment here. That is a Gladius. Like that is a that is a much larger ship, much more powerful, much more expensive ship. And my game is lagging. Big mistake. Got missiles as well, so okay, my shields took a pretty big hit there. Resync my speed with him. or the uh, blood to flow from your brain. Oh, still. Uh, and so sometimes your, your vision gets a little 
dark. Uh, which is, you know, scary. Tails is there in like pirate band. Should have launched a missile. Miss missile. Should have launched a missile there. I'm blocking you out there. I, I don't know if I got that missile off or not. Pushing the missile button. Oh, and I got destroyed. And that's uh, that's what always happens to me. And I, and I know that what I need to be doing is more of that arena commander and more of that uh, winning more races to, to upgrade my weapons. But uh, I just I just haven't done that. So um, and then I respawn, and the insurance will fix your ship. I don't know what happens when the insurance runs out, but uh, the insurance will fix your ship, and uh, I can have my ship back in just a matter of a few minutes. Um, kind of like uh, Grand Theft Auto V uh, works when you buy, buy ships with them. It's, um, it's pretty cool. It's an in interesting game. I, I'm not going to... Obviously, you're not going to see it a whole bunch on the channel, mainly just because there's not a whole bunch to do, but when uh, 0 0.3 hits, uh, then maybe... Uh, we'll have more stuff to do and if you guys are ch discovering the channel and, and can help me uh, and want to join me or fly with me or show me the ropes or tell me what I'm missing then um, if you're if you're a veteran of Star Citizen then there you go if you're new to Star Citizen hope you found it a little bit helpful uh, and if you can hit that like button and subscribe button and that helps me know that uh, what I did was was worth my time so thank you guys so much and uh, we'll see you next time bye bye maybe but uh, my hotkeys aren't working so uh, let's do this. Maybe. There we go. There we go. All right. See you guys next time. Bye-bye.